everybody. Today's meditation is sort of a deep dive into breathing, following the pathway of an oxygen molecule into our bodies. First of all, get yourself in a comfortable position. You could be sitting. If you sit on the ground, it often helps to have a cushion under your hips to help elevate them and help keep you upright so you can be relaxed and alert uh, at the same time. Or you can sit in a chair with your feet on the ground and your hands resting lightly on your thighs. For this meditation, it could even be a good walking meditation, so you could just listen to the audio um, of it. Either way, get yourself in a good position, and if you're not walking, you can close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. And we'll begin by focusing on the breath. And a good way to begin with the breath is to take some deep breaths. As you take those deep breaths, just notice the physical sensations in the body from breathing. The sensations that are a part of breathing. Probably have some in your nose, maybe in your throat, in your neck, chest, maybe in your abdomen. Just see what you notice for a minute. Breathing is a great object of meditation because it's always there. We're breathing every moment of every day. And that's been true since the moment you were born. Something you share with all other humans and really all other beings, all other animals on earth breathe in one way or another, and all for the same purpose, to bring oxygen into their bodies and to bring carbon dioxide out of their bodies. You share that with your pet dog, cat, birds flying around outside, even the earthworms in the dirt they're bringing oxygen into their bodies and carbon dioxide out just like you. So let's focus on the nose first. Breathe through your nose if you can. See if you can notice that sensation. See if you can feel a sensation at the edge of your nostrils where the air comes in and leaves perhaps a kind of coolness or sensation of movement there as you breathe. The air comes in through your nose or through your mouth, into your nasal cavity and back, pulled back by suction into your pharynx or throat, which is to behind your mouth and nose and it passes through your larynx and then into your trachea and you can take a moment and touch your throat and just feel those hard rings there. Those are those rings of cartilage that are continuously holding your trachea open so that unlike other tubes in your body, it can never collapse. 
It's always open, always carrying air to and from your lungs. So right now you and every other human and every other creature on earth are taking air through your nose, nasal cavity, your throat and on into your trachea and down into your lungs. The trachea splits into two tubes that go into your right and left lungs, respectively. And as you breathe, you're flattening your diaphragm muscle and pulling that air into your lungs by suction. as you have been doing every moment of every day since the moment you were born. And inside that air, there are many different things, but some, what we'll focus on, is oxygen. And as those oxygen molecules come down through your trachea and then through your bronchi and all the tubes. The tubes that go into your lungs divide and divide and divide 26 times. They divide in each lung. So that at the end of all that dividing, there are 300 million little sacs where the air arrives, where the oxygen molecules arrive. If you laid out all those little sacks on the ground, it would be as big as a tennis court there in your lungs. All that area for the oxygen to move from the air through those little thin sacks into your blood. And that's what's happening inside you right now. With every breath, the air coming in, the oxygen moving through those thin sacs into your blood. Imagine now just one molecule of oxygen in one of those 300 million little sacs moving into your blood into a little blood vessel, a little capillary in your lung. And then like streams or creeks combining together to form rivers these capillaries join and empty into larger veins, and these veins travel to your heart. One big vein carrying all those oxygen molecules, all the blood from each of your lungs back to the heart. And then your heart pumps it out. So imagine that same oxygen molecule, because this, this is happening inside you right now. Imagine that oxygen molecule leaving your heart and traveling out through a big artery, out the top of your heart, and out across the right side of your chest, and down into your right arm. And as that artery goes, it splits up into smaller and smaller vessels smaller and smaller tubes. As it goes down your arm, the arteries get smaller and smaller until that oxygen molecule arrives in the muscle tissue of your right hand where it can diffuse into that muscle to the cells of that tissue. 
and combine with the food energy that you take in to make the energy that that cell, that muscle, can use to move your right index finger, to allow you to move. And in that process, the oxygen disappears. It's gone. And that movement all the way from your nostrils down through your throat, into your lungs, into your blood, through your heart, out through those blood vessels, and into your muscle tissue. It's happening night and day, every moment of every day. And as part of that same process, that muscle makes carbon dioxide, which follows the reverse path in a beautiful parallel, back out through tiny capillaries into big veins and back to your heart. And from your heart back to your lungs, and from your lungs back into those little sacs and those little tubes in your lungs and the big tubes. And as you breathe out, Take a big breath out. You're breathing out the air with that carbon dioxide molecule from that muscle in your right hand that controls your right index finger. And every moment of every day, you're taking those oxygen molecules in through that path carbon dioxide out, you and all the other humans in your household, if there are any, all the ones in your town, all the ones in your state, it's happening inside all of them right now. all of the humans on earth. All the humans. All the cats. All the sharks. All the fish. All the insects. All the beings on earth you share that pathway with. You share that movement of oxygen in, carbon dioxide out, the power of the breath. Later in the day, if you like, you can return to visualizing the pathway for just a moment if you need to recenter. It's always there. All that is happening inside you right now. Have a good rest of your day.